Hey guys, in this problem we have 34 kilograms of water, and we want to raise it from 15 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius, and we want to find how much heat in joules is required for that. Now a helpful little trick to know for problems like this is to remember something called the kilocalorie, or the kcal. This is useful, this unit of heat is useful because it is equal to the amount of heat required to raise one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. So we can basically use this as a unit conversion for the amount of heat needed to raise the water by a single degree. You could kind of think of this as a unit conversion. One kcal per one kilogram of water per one degree Celsius. So we can effectively use this entire term as a unit conversion for our math. So we have kilograms and degrees Celsius in the denominator. So that means when we do our multiplication with this unit conversion, then we're going to put mass and temperature in the numerator. So that is 34 kilograms multiplied by the temperature difference. So 95 degrees Celsius minus 15 degrees Celsius multiplied by our little unit conversion. So we're setting up a chain link conversion here. For one degree Celsius. And if we do the math on this right now, if we put all of this into our calculator, we will find the amount of energy required to raise the temperature just as requested, but it'll be in kilocalories. So we'll need to add one more term to convert from kilocalories into joules. And so one kilocalorie is equivalent to 4,186 joules. This value is something called the mechanical equivalent of heat. And if we put this into a calculator to do all this conversion, we find an answer. We find an amount of energy of about 1.139 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 7 joules, though the book rounds it to 1.1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 7 joules. So this is our answer to this problem. And that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. That's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.